We have breaking news from the NHL. We have two NHL trades that came together pretty close together. We have Tomas Tatar and Jack Stanika both on the move in separate trades. We'll discuss the details coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have two NHL trades to discuss this evening. Uh, both of these trades came together pretty close together. I was just starting to prepare to record for one when the other one was announced here. The one that went down a little bit first was between Vancouver and San Jose. The Vancouver Canucks have traded Jack Stadnika, 24 years old, pending UFA on a one-way deal at league minimum uh, to the San Jose Sharks. And in return, they get minor leaguer Nick S uh, Sisek in a 2024 six-round selection. Jack Stadnika came to Vancouver from Boston a couple seasons back. Um, and for the most part, he looked like he was going to be a pretty promising player, You know, get a chance to play in the top nine. But over the course of the last uh, year or so, between injuries to himself and other players just kind of moving past him on the depth chart here, and the Canucks uh, have been really good this year. It's kind of you know created a, a spot where he's he's not really getting as much of an opportunity. So he's he's a tradable, expendable piece at this point. Uh, so this is a little bit about uh, moving a one-way contract, just going to give them themselves a little bit more flexibility. Uh, so Stanika was a, a very promising prospect, came through the Bruins organization, had a hard time getting a chance because of the, the depth they had at center. Um, gets to Vancouver, looks like he's going to get more of a chance, and for short spells he did. Uh, but between injuries and other moves that they've made, he's kind of lost his opportunity, so to speak. So obviously San Jose's uh, been playing better lately, but you know theoretically not having a, a great season and certainly a team going through a lot of changes. And even though they've been winning more lately, they are expected to be making a lot of moves later in the year so he should theoretically get more of a chance uh this year he's uh, got one goal in five games in the nhl and Stednik has also appeared in nine american hockey league games as well uh, for abbotsford in the american hockey league so we'll see like i said he's on a one-way deal so he's getting paid the same salary regardless but it's a chance for vancouver to clear another one-way deal off the book so another a case of cap management by Patrick Alvin and Jim Rutherford. So should work out well in, in both cases. It may not be a huge deal for either side. Depends on how things work out for Studnika with the Sharks. And then the other trade, which is a, a little bit more significant, Tomas Tatar has been traded from the Colorado Avalanche to the Seattle Kraken in exchange for a 2024 fifth round pick. So both these deals have later round draft picks being included to them. Of course, the Kraken desperately need somebody who can score. Tatar has not had a great deal of success scoring this year, but does have a long history of being a productive player. He's 33 years old, only making $1.5 million. Uh, he's got one goal and nine points this year for Colorado on 27 games played. I mean, Tatar was one of those players that was a late signing. Uh, there was, it was kind of a weird scenario because if you take a look at his last, I mean, even though he's, he's starting to get a little bit older, like he's still been very productive. Um, even in New Jersey, like where he last played before this year, it, it was still, um, you know, pretty productive considering the minutes he gets and the role he's expected to play. But I'm not sure if it's just a matter of just not being a fit, not getting a chance to play. Uh, in the right situations or, or what it is. Not everybody's going to be a great fit on every team. Tatar has been pretty productive, though, no matter where he's been up until this point in his career. So I guess we'll see if he can bounce back with the Seattle Kraken. The Kraken do have some injuries. They made a bunch of moves earlier. The roster, clearly, I think they were they were looking to free up some space to maybe bring a guy like this in because uh, the Jaden Schwartz went to long-term injury reserve. They demoted Ty Cartier, brought up Shane Wright from the minors, and then uh, now they pick up Tatar from Colorado in exchange for a fifth-round pick. So it's $1.5 million he's making on a one-year deal uh, pending UFA. Like I said, it was kind of weird. I mean, if you look at the his past history and the, the underlying numbers with Tatar, like before the season, they were, it was really good. I was I thought he would have got more money and more term and had more offers. I don't know if he was just being picky. Or I'm not sure what held things up so much. But it, uh, after all that time going to Colorado, I personally thought the Avalanche were getting a steal. And it just hasn't worked. It's just that simple. Not everything works out, even though it looks good on paper. And uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes. So Tatar to Seattle. Jax Danica off to San Jose. Let me know your thoughts on both trades. I'll be back a little bit later with another news recap video to talk about all the other news going around the entire NHL. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.